You guys, this is it. Anyone who knows anything about dining at the Cliff House, we are doing the dish. The dish, the most popular dish in the history of the Cliff House. I love it. My wife loves it. Everybody loves it. We're doing Chateau. Chateau, baby! <laughs> you hate it, don't you? This actual just has long history here with the Cliff House. When it was rebuilt and opened back up about 10 years ago, the chef at that point in time had a, a version of this dish. We took that version, tweaked it, made it our own. And this is, we're gonna, we're gonna show you our version, our 2010 version of the Chateaubriand Cliff House. We're gonna make our marinade first so we can get all that work together. Well, we've got a nice little pan here. What we're going to use is we're going to use some orange juice straight. If you can grab the orange juice, pour the orange juice in here. Now we've also got some Worcestershire, which Trig is going to grab next. This is a big deal, guys, because everyone I've ever spoken to about our love for the Cliff House, we always mention Chateau, and we always wonder, what is that marinade? And this is the answer. Five ingredients. <laughs> like I said, the orange juice, the Worcestershire, we've got some balsamic vinegar. And then my one key favorite ingredient, a sweet chili sauce. I use a Mayploy brand. You can buy these in most of your grocery stores around town, Asian markets. The Mayploy is the, the key ingredient in my aspect. It gives it that nice little pepperiness. It's got enough sweetness to it. A lot of about what this dish is about is sweetening this meat. Because now the last ingredient for this, sugar. Just plain old sugar. So thinking about it with the orange, the sweet chili, uh, the balsamic's got that little sweetness to it. Real sweet in here. Like I said, we're just gonna mix this up a little bit. We're gonna set this off to the side for now. Now what are these? <laughs> this looks like a tongue out of tremors. Any Japanimation fans? That is your filet of beef, your chateau. Your chateau is actually your center cut, but we do a little play, we use the whole thing. Or as hunters refer to it, this is the backstrap cut. Backstrap. Okay. Filet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you guys how to clean this filet. You can buy these filets in Sam's, Costco, go into most of your grocery stores. If you ask the butcher to buy a whole filet, most of them will sell them to you without a problem. Let's butcher. Let's butcher. If you look at this, they call this the chain on this side, which is what we're gonna take off first. And then this, there's a little bit of fat up top here. You can get your finger in there and basically pull that right back. You can take your fingers and then this will come apart. Run your fingers right through there and you'll be able to separate this. This it's, is the chain that we're taking This is the off. chain, they call this the chain. And we're gonna, do, we're gonna show you how to clean that chain up. So I'm already seeing it right here is yep. the good stuff. That is it. So now what we wanna do, now that we've got that so, somewhat separated, once again, dry hands when you have a knife in your hand. You can go through and you can cut right down through here. You can tilt your knife back just a little bit, almost like a 45 degree angle and just cut through. See how when Trig did his, he's got a little bit of fat here. Mine's a little more clean. And this is still oh. a little part of the chain right there. I usually will take that off. If you see mine, mine's nice oh, and clean. Oh, because if I put my fingers down, I can feel the yeah. shelf. Yeah, and that's that where the 45 is. degree angle coming back into it, it comes into play. Just follow that little line. There you go. I love how you step back every time I cut shelf. <laughs> Now we're going to clean the silver skin. We talked about silver skin yep. on the lamb issue. You're going to go in at the end and just, just underneath that silver skin again. Poke it all the way through. You got it. And start pulling, start basically taking it from the, the back of the knife to the tip. You're just going to run it down. See how I'm just kind of, it's... All right, stop. All right, so his, his broke. Basically, if you can keep it together, now what you can do, get your fingers under there, start the same thing again, and go out. Usually I can take one all the way out, but I, so I would hate to- So you would prefer instead of sawing, you're, you're using the knife to separate as you pull. Yeah, 
Well, as you push, I'm basically just pushing the knife, letting it run the whole length of the blade. I don't proper know. way, right here, all this looks, <laughs> and proper way. Actually, it's a little tougher, but for the first time, you're not doing too bad. You're not butchering it up too Yeah, much. I mean, that's amazing. Mine has all these pock marks. <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> I've probably seen about a thousand or more of these. Probably, uh, I'm uh, probably up to about ten thousand of these by now, Trick. So, ah, again, Not the love-hate relationship with Chateau. Yes. Well, this started many years ago. Okay, come on. All right, Chef. Do you want cut fingers? Now we flip it over. Now we need to clean this back side of it up. Once again, get it flat. Get it to where you can work on it. Push on it. What you're gonna do? How I clean mine? But I'll come in and I'll pick this little bit up here. Get your knife. This is about the only place where I'll saw back into it and then come straight up. We'll save that part too. What are we looking for? These What fatty you want to do parts? is you want to you want to clean this fat out well, of Well, this is where it connected to the backbone. Yes. Okay. Yep. So we're going to clean we're this up a little bit. We're looking to make it flatter. Well, we're just cleaning up. Not really flat, but we're just cleaning it to where it's more more presentable. Okay, our fillets are clean. Now we're gonna get into the portioning part of it. This is where I need to be really precise. So I'm not gonna let you cut yours because I will clean that up and I will <laughs> use that later. I will show you how to cut this fillet and portion it out. So I'm gonna square up the, the top part. That part we're gonna save again. This little bit of silver skin that's left in here is not a big deal. Some people pull it out, some people don't. I'm gonna leave it in there because it still will create a nice six ounce fillet. You're going to see that it's a nice six ounce filet. Now on this next cut, the way it is, you'll see that it does separate. It's only a little bit. I will cut where that silver skin is. I will cut that piece out. Square that piece off. There's your next six ounce Look filet. Look at those. And then from now on out, you just, you're going to cut straight down through, make your nice little six ounce filets. And if I had a scale here, I bet you those are pretty much six to maybe a little over. I think they look like seven too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, woo! And now that they're cut, we'll mix this just a little bit. Pull out, drop them straight in. We'll just go ahead and I'll marinate this whole one because I'm sure I will sell this as a special one. Yeah? Yes. Chateau's coming back? Well, for a special. For, Just for a weekend? For a weekend. The Chateau right. will be back. <laughs> and you're not the only one that'll be very excited about that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these in here. I'll leave them in there for about 12 hours. For me, Chef, when you first taught me how to make this filet for my wife and I, you had a, a preparation that I, in my very limited knowledge, hadn't been exposed to. And can we go over that a little bit? Because I don't know if that's going to be clear for some people. It's, it's very important, the, t the steps to this. As far as cooking this, yes. Basically, what you want to do is after this is marinated for the 12 hours, you want to take it out. And if there's still a little juice left on there, that's fine. What you want to do is you want to take a cast iron pan, a nice hot saute pan. Well, super not hot. Super hot. Yeah. Because what you want to do is the sugars that are in all of this marinade are going to saturate the top of this beef. What it's going to do is it's going to char. It's going to look burnt. That's what you want. You want that burnt. But when you cut into it, you would think it's gonna taste like charbroiled, just straight off of your charcoal grill outside, almost like charcoal, but it has the most amazing sweetness to it. It's a caramelization it. almost. It's a caramelization. And what, and what I don't know, this is what I'm assuming because I've never had a steak or a filet like this, it's searing, it's sealing in stuff for when it is cooked. Because after you sear it, you then broil it, right? You can broil it, you can finish it in the oven most of the time. Or just in the oven. Yeah, either way. But, but because you seared it, hardly anything's really escaping compared to if it was just a piece of meat unseared in the oven. Yes. No, 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 no! Uh, come in this weekend, 15% off. Uh, let's make the secret phrase to receive 15% off on Chateau this weekend only. Please tell Chef thanks for giving me the Chateau. That's the secret phrase. Please tell Chef thanks for giving me the Chateau. And please believe me. Thank I believe you. you. Thank you. Ow. <laughs>